Pico Iyer, The Art of Stillness, Adventures in Going Nowhere. Embark on a journey of introspection and rediscover the power of stillness with Pico Iyer's insightful book, The Art of Stillness, Adventures in Going Nowhere. The summary delves into the experiences of the author and various personalities, including the iconic singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen, all seeking solace through stillness amidst their bustling lifestyles. Exploring the notions of inner peace and our need for tranquility, you will be guided through timeless wisdom from various cultures and benefits that clarity of mind, meditation, and taking a pause bring, enhancing your ability to navigate life's challenges resiliently, forging deeper connections, and unlocking your creative potential. The Zen of Leonard Cohen the book narrates author Pico Iyer's experience visiting Leonard Cohen as he transitions from a globetrotting artist to a Zen student living a monastic life. Cohen's pursuit of stillness and reflection as a means to confront his inner demons and find fulfillment is explored in the book. Iyer's own journey of leaving behind a successful career to live in Kyoto is also shared. Leonard Cohen's Zen Enlightenment Journey this summary tells the story of Leonard Cohen's journey to Zen enlightenment. The story follows the encounter of the author, Pico Iyer, with Cohen while he lived in a monastery in the San Gabriel Mountains outside of Los Angeles. Cohen had traded in his Armani suits for monastic robes, becoming a student and personal assistant of Zen teacher Joshu Sasaki. We learn about Cohen's earnest approach to Zen not for purity or religious devotion but rather to confront the terror and doubt that had plagued him throughout his life. Cohen reflects on his life as a globetrotting performer and how stillness became the most luxurious response to his existence. The author relates to Cohen's impulse to seek enlightenment, quitting his job and moving to Japan to find true happiness. The Power of Stillness in Writing and Buddhism In his book, The Art of Stillness, Pico Iyer explores the transformative power of stillness and solitude. He highlights the examples of Marcel Proust and Matthew Ricard, who were able to create works of great impact by withdrawing from society and practicing introspection. For Proust, stillness allowed him to explore how fleeting moments can shape our lives and memories, while for Ricard, it brought about a state of happiness that earned him the title, the happiest man in the world. Through their stories, Ayer shows how adopting a similar approach to life can help us find meaning and fulfillment, whether as writers or practitioners of Buddhism. The Beauty and Terror of Solitude The life of solitude can trigger both beauty and terror. This is evident in the poems of American poet Emily Dickinson, who wrote about death and being haunted by her own mind. For American Trappist monk Thomas Merton, stillness wasn't a path to happiness, and it required embracing nothingness. Merton's crisis of faith showed that the inner self is constantly changing, even for those who dedicate their lives to stillness. The Power of Stillness In a world where the quiet life is now more elusive than ever before, the importance of slowing down becomes more apparent. The author discovers that individuals who help develop technology are actually the most sensitive to this need of slowing down. Kevin Kelly, the founding executive editor of Wired magazine, lives without a smartphone, laptop, or TV in his home, and many tech workers in Silicon Valley observe an Internet Sabbath, where they turn off most of their devices for the weekend. Emma, a Stanford researcher, conducted a week-long yoga-based breathing program for masculine, Midwestern military veterans, which resulted in significant improvements in their symptoms of PTSD. Even after a year, the improvements held up. Emma's husband, Andrew, who completed his own stillness program, found the hour of concentrated attention not only made him happier but also made him more selectively alert about potential threats and targets, making him more effective at his job and better able to enjoy his daily life. We must learn to step back from endless information to see the bigger picture and draw upon that clarity when the stakes are highest. The Power of Stillness the concept of the secular Sabbath is about prioritizing a set amount of time to let your mind roam without direction or purpose. It's a period where creative and unexpected ideas often arrive, and simply listening can be more rewarding than trying to articulate all of your thoughts. 
Despite the belief that taking breaks from everyday life is selfish or only for privileged people, it's crucial for those who are busy and stressed. The invigoration of slowing down, paying attention and sitting still can bring clarity and enable us to cope with the world's chaos more easily. The success of Leonard Cohen's album of slow, solemn songs, Old Ideas, globally resonated with audiences as it depicted stillness. It shows that even if we talk ourselves out of going nowhere, we're often drawn to the work of people who have journeyed inward and returned to the world tender, alive, and lucid. As the journey through the book summary of The Art of Stillness, Adventures in Going Nowhere, comes to an end, we realize the importance of embracing stillness and the concept of a nowhere. By slowing down, we learn to navigate the chaos of modern life and gain clarity necessary for personal growth and fulfillment. This holistic message highlights the transformative power stillness holds, enabling us to cultivate inner peace, enhance relationships, and unlock creativity. Ultimately, the experiences of famous figures like Leonard Cohen, Emily Dickinson, the Dalai Lama, and others illuminate the profound significance of nurturing stillness, regardless of one's social or professional standing.